Shear is an insanely complex phenomenon in structural engineering, and I still haven't fully understood every detail of, of it. And today, I quickly want to talk about the critical section of shear and reinforced concrete slabs and beams. By critical section, I mean the place where shear failure happens. Here is an image of a simply supported reinforced concrete beam that is exposed to a line load. This beam has the following shear force diagram with the biggest shear forces at both supports. In reality, however, the supports are not point supports, but actually more like area supports because the beam is usually supported by a wall. If the shear force is too big, then the, the reinforced concrete beam develops like a di diagonal shear crack. Um, and this also means that actually the critical section is not at the support, but rather like with a distance of the height, the beam away from the support. And if we do that, we can actually see in our shear force diagram that we have to verify the beam for a much lower shear force. And this also makes sense because everything that is on the left side of the, the shear crack is, is getting directly transferred to the support. And yeah, the beam cannot fail there in shear. 